Hello everyone, I'm back again today. Um, I'm out here in the rain. The light is very flat, quite soft, but um, I'm trying to keep my gear dry as much as I can. I'm sort of a, under a tree at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I'm out with my dog, Barney. Um, he's snaffling around over there. And I'm looking to um, get some uh, woodland shots today. Um, this is somewhere I haven't been for a while, um, just outside Groombridge in East Sussex. And um, yeah, I, I'm just sort of, I'm trawling around the woods, trying to get a bit of inspiration, uh, going slightly off trail. And um, yeah, just trying to find some shapes, a little bit of you know, splash of color here and there. Um, some nice forms, a um, bit of structure going on. So let's see what I can get. I think I found something, it's kind of, it's just behind me here. Um, it's, yeah, this one here. It's um, maybe slightly cliched, but uh, yeah, it's the, orange of the beach um, and I quite like the, the way it's sort of um, the shape of the, the beach coming round um, it's sort of echoed by the, the tree to to the left there I think it's a I think it's a western hemlock but it seems to be doing the same sort of shape so I think I might go in sort of tight um, on these two Just put, a, just put a bag over that while I'm uh, faffing about and sorting myself out. Like I say, I've got this Sony A7R 3 on higher at the moment and I'm using it with adapted lenses because um, obviously I don't have any Sony lenses, so I've got my Canon 2470. Just using it with a, a Metabones that um, came with the higher as well. So yeah, I'm going to frame it up so I have uh, the beach on the right and the other green um, hemlock, I think. Um, on the left hand side and then there's also there's two tree trunks that are kind of framing that as well and then you've got all the fall off with everything else in the backdrop and would you believe it a bit of sun has come out which is lovely because that copper beach has just brightened up really nicely so i think i better try and get a shot quite quickly now He's just gone into the shot, so let's get, get a shot of him there. So I've just come across uh, this as a potential composition. Um, I just like the way that obviously the trees come down. Uh, it's got this huge root system and it's left a big gap uh, in the ground. Obviously with the amount of rain we've had recently, uh, it's filled up. So we've got um, some nice reflections going. We've got a nice bit of kind of green um, some green tones 
in the water. Uh, there's a lot of foliage in there um, and leaves and quite like the way the, the bottom of the tree trunk is kind of quite dry. It's obviously it's not, it's not being um, made damp by the rains, but uh, then we've got this, this kind of perfectly still sort of um, pond at the bottom that's created out of the fact that this tree used to be there. Um, but it's now down. Um, so I'm just going to walk around it a little bit and just see uh, what angle would work. I quite like it from sort of just, just over that angle, maybe going side on. And then um, I'll be able to keep some of these uh, other trees in the background with the trunks just coming up into the top of the image. And um, also, you get the reflections in the water of the top of the tree. So uh, it might work quite well on a few different levels, a few different layers within the, within the image. So I'm gonna, gonna have a little look at this now. So uh, one last shot of the day, I'm on my way back and um, I've seen, seen a nice shot through the trees. It's got a lovely bit of layering to it with some different, um, some different colours going on. Got sort of oranges of the, of the, of the ferns that have gone over and then we've got uh, a layer of trees and then some silver birch in, in, in the background. Uh, with their white trunks so it looks lovely um, so it's all very muted because it's such a flat light but it, it looks nice so I'm going to shoot it on a um, on a long lens I've got my 70 to 200 on um, and I've got it nicely covered at the moment because I'm not sure quite how um, waterproof the Sony is but anyway I'd rather rather keep it dry um, and it's going to be a quick one um, and I may focus stack it because um, front to back uh, on a long lens, uh, well, obviously we've got different focal planes as we go along. So I'll do one without sort of um, focused on this tree, um, which is sort of you know, halfway down the shot. Uh, and then I might focus stack a little bit just and put them together and light them afterwards. But uh, I'll stick the shot up uh, and I think that's about about me done for today. Cheers. If you would like to follow what I'm doing, if you're doing the same sort of journey yourself, uh, it'd be lovely to have you along. Please comment below. Um, it'd be nice to hear from anybody else that's doing the same sort of thing. And uh, if you did like it enough, um, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and, and it'd be great to see you next time. Okay, cheers. Slowly. Uh, 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 uh. Wait. 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 Good boy, good boy.